Welcome back everyone, uh, here today with uh, not so much the gameplay, just a few bits of information, a few tips, PV, um, and other bits and pieces that uh, I hope you're going to enjoy. Um, I'm going to go into my character here now, bear with us while it loads up. Um, I just want to show a few little things to start with that I have picked up, some nice bits and pieces. Uh, firstly, the Icebreaker Exotic Sniper Rifle. Uh, got this from a legendary engram. Kind of surprised. It is amazing. Um, best thing about it, don't need to reload it. It regenerates its own ammo over time. Has a magazine of six, which means that you know you got a few shots. Generally, I fire two to three, and by that stage, it's generated another one. Does solid damage awesome and it's going to max out at what is it 300 damage once I get it done it's pretty cool secondly I've had this one for a while the legendary sniper rifle final boss um, almost finished upgrading it don't have the glimmer and spirit bloom and stuff to finish it at this stage uh, this one's another really cool sniper rifle that does uh, void damage um, if you can find it use it because it's good very good as well uh, next up I have just got this one this morning uh, shotgun in I had to do I think it was five four or five uh, leg uh, exotic bounties to be able to get this one in the end the last one actually being the easiest but probably took me the longest I had to buy 50 um, special weapon synthesis from the gunsmith and of course I use all my glimmer on buying stuff all the time breaking weapons down for the weapon parts so I can upgrade other weapons so I had no glimmer but it took me a long time to get the glimmer to be actually buy all those weapon synthesis um, and this weapon also has a upgrade that uh, will allow it to re regenerate ammo over time as well so I look forward to using that and I think this thing's going to be a beast in PvP um, especially once I get that upgrade for it. I have died to it a number of times and I really do look forward to taking this into to the Crucible. Next, um, I have the Legendary Rocket Launcher Unfriendly Giant. This thing's really cool, uh, really, really strong. Um, as, with all rocket, as with all rocket launchers, just don't shoot it at your feet because you're going to kill yourself. I've done that a number of times and it's been kind of stupid but uh, you know we all learn from our mistakes uh, next up I have the Sunbreaker gauntlets from my warlock cool I like how they're on fire and with the armband that I'm wearing it looks even better so pretty nasty I've got lots of things there I can do to them but I don't have the stuff to do it at this stage I've got to go do some farming which I don't really like doing uh, also have an exotic chest plate or chest armor but I can't use that along with the exotic uh, gauntlets so I have it just yet I will start using it more um, soon but uh, it's pretty pretty cool as well I do like that it gives you an improved axiom bolt um, Pretty cool, pretty nasty. Um, still got just some rare boots. I have Legendary Orders Hood Helmet. Um, pretty cool. Again, it's pretty close to being maxed out. Just need to get some glimmer and iron. I really do need lots of relic iron and, um, to upgrade all these things to finish them off. Um, and that's all I have in the way of my character. But while we are here, I will just give a small tip for PvP. I see a lot of people running ARs because just they fire so much quicker in Crucible. And that's probably not a bad idea. Um, I still see a few people that run hand cannons. And if you're accurate with it, I am not. And so I don't use them. Um, but they are like a two to three shot kill with a hand cannon if you're good enough. And you can get headshots especially. But uh, ARs in the Crucible, um, the little tip that I'm going to sort of share is take something that's got a high impact 
So I've got two ARs here, the Silvered Hush Wind D, which has a low impact, has a magazine 32, as you can see on, scre on screen. It's not actually a bad... I use that quite a bit uh, when just free roaming, doing patrols and missions and stuff. And that. But I don't use it in PvP. What I use is this one here, the Galahad E. I've probably pronounced that wrong, but I don't care. It's got two shots left less in the magazine, but its impact is a lot more. So if I equip that one as my primary and come to this one here, you can see the difference now. And it really is like... Uh, a little bit quicker to reload is the Galahad. The stability is a little bit less on it. But if you're pretty good at the burst firing with it, or just adjusting your sights as you fire, good on you. And I can do that reasonably well myself. The fire rate is down a little bit, but as I said, if you can burst fire, it's okay. But the, the big point is the impact. The impact is up, and that is what takes down the enemy shields so much quicker. That's what I find anyway. Um, find a high impact, drop their shields, and then from there, I can go the body shots or headshots, and they're dead pretty quickly. Um, so for me, the Galahad E, if, in this case, is more preferable than the Silvered Hushwind D. But I guess um, it's all personal preference. This is just my personal preference. This is my little tip, something I've found, something I've experimented with a little. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with uh, all you good people out there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Peace.